Hello everyone, this is Stephanie. Welcome to another video. So today we're going to work on the Painted Tiles bracelet to go with the Painted Tiles ring that we made last video. So here's the bracelet in Super Duos, and I made one in Mini Duos so you could see the difference. So here's the ring in Mini Duos, and here's the ring in Super Duos, and here I'll pull the bracelet over here. So that's the difference in size. So if you want a smaller bracelet, you can do the smaller bracelet and the smaller ring, or you can do the bigger one, whichever one you like. All right, so I'm going to clear this off and we're going to get a materials list going and we're going to get started. Don't forget to like and subscribe and ring the bell if you'd like to get notified when I upload a video. Okay, Thanks. Let's get a materials list going. So you'll need two colors of Super Duos, a main color and a contrasting color. Two Eidos, main color, contrasting color. If you're doing the Mini Duo um, version, two colors of Mini Duos, main color, contrasting color. Two 11 -0 seed beads, main color, contrasting color. Okay, and that's where it's going to be different. You'll need three millimeter bicones. I have a clasp here. This is a tube bar clasp, and I love this because the, the rings are facing in this direction, so I can just slide it in. And I've taken some uh, O beads and I just used it at the end to make a sort of a decorative ending on it. Uh, totally optional. If you're doing the mini duo bracelet, this clasp will not fit here. I don't know if they make one that will fit in here. It's possible, but you can always do a cut button or you know, just an alternative clasp on this one. All right, so you'll need, oh, one other thing. The original bracelet I made has the symbol or symbol, whatever you call them, endings. And these are super duo endings. They have gem duo endings. They have all kinds of endings. They're really nice. And this is a pretty self-explanatory how you get this on. You just zip it right through, you know, put it in. Sew it in, and there you've got this beautiful ending. I love these. These are really pretty. All right, so did I say uh, size 10 beading needle? Eight pound fire line, stop it. Okay, we have everything going. Don't forget to click the down arrow, the show more. Everything will be down there. Sizes, shapes, colors, amounts, places to purchase beads if you need to do any purchasing um, will be down there. So don't forget to look down there. All right, so I'm going to clear this off, and we're going to get started. Okay, let's get started. So thread your needle with about, I say, 34 inches of thread. Put on a stop bead about halfway through, a little less than halfway through. We're going to use both sides of the thread. So I put on my needle and I drop down to my stop bead four of my 8 OC beads. Let's see if I can put on a teeny bit more, like that. I'm just going to sew up through the first two after the stop bead to make a unit. I want to turn my unit so I'm facing like this. So here is my stop bead and my tail. Here is where my working thread is coming out, this bottom seat bead. So I'm going to pick up one of my contrasting color beads and three of my main color beads. Exiting here, I'm going to sew through this one. Just going to make that a unit. I'm going to skip the green bead. I'm just going to pull my thread to the right a little bit. Skip the green one, sew through the next silver bead. So that puts a green bead in between two of the main color units. Pick up another one. So another contrasting color and three of your main color. Exiting here, sew through this one. I'm going to pull in this direction. Skip the contrasting color and sew through the next main color. Do it a couple more times. Pick up a contrasting color, three main colors, exiting here, so through this one. I'm going to pull to the right, skip the contrasting bead, and so through the next main color. So now I have three contrasting beads between my units. Keep going. Contrasting color, Three of your main color. Exiting here. Sew through this one. Pull a little bit to the right. Skipping the green one. Going through the silver one. One more time. Contrasting color. Three main colors. Exiting here. Sew through this one. Give it a pull. Skip the green one. Sew through the next main color. 
So this is what you have. So I'm going to let you get to this point and then come on back and we'll continue. Okay, let's continue. So here, I've just, here's my, here's how it looks when I ended before. I'm just going to flip it this way so that my tail is, and the um, stop bead is exiting the top, and my working thread is on the bottom here, and I'm exiting this silver bead. I'm going to pick up three of my silvers, so the main color. Exiting here, just going to sew through the other side of the bead I'm exiting. And I'll move my thumb in a second. There you go. Pull that into a unit. Now I'm going to, I'm exiting here, I'm going to sew through this bead on the bottom, the side bead, so I'm just going around this unit, and then the top bead. Just moving my thread around. And now I'm just going to make a turn and go right up through this green one next to this one and the silver one. Okay, I'm just going to let you get to that point and then we'll continue. Okay, so I'm exiting this silver bead, so I want to make a unit with this silver and this silver. So I'm going to pick up two silver beads. That's my main color. Exiting here, I'm just going to sew through this silver bead here and the one I'm exiting. And I'm skipping the green one. I'm just like ignoring it. Like that. Now I'm going to advance my needle through the next green one and coming out of the silver one, that following silver bead. Do that again. Pick up two silvers. Exiting here. I want to make a unit here. I'm going to sew through this one and the one I'm exiting. It's fun, right? I love doing this stitch. It's kind of neat. And then, you see how I got my unit now? Yeah, I'm going to sew directly up through the green bead and the silver bead coming out of a silver. Let's do it again. Two of my silver, exiting this silver. I'm going to sew through this one and the one I'm exiting. Like that. And then I'm going to advance directly above through the green and the silver. Should we do the last two together? Pick up two silver. Exiting this silver bead. Sew through this one and the one you're exiting. Have another unit on, sew through the green one, and the next silver one. One more time, two silvers, exiting this silver, sew through this one, and the one you're exiting from. Now we have all our, the center part of our unit on. Just going to sew through this bead and this bead, so the top bead and the side bead. Just getting ready to put more beads on. And then I'm just going to leave it like that and let you get to this point, and then we'll continue. Okay, we're back. So here we're exiting this bead right here. I'm just going to add super duos now. So I'm adding a super duo between each eight-o. Like that. I'm going to turn around, sitting here. I'm going to sew through this one. And then I'm going to sew up through this one, the green one, and the next silver one. So these three, I'm just going to use these units to turn around. Like that. Through this one, just the silver one. I'm just using this unit right here. Like that. Now I'm Exiting here, I'm just going to sew through this 8 o, so not this super duo, but the 8 o and the super duo underneath it. Like that. And then back up through the other hole of that super duo. I'm exiting. I'm going to put on a super duo again in between each. 
Super Duo. Like that. Now I'm going to turn around again, exiting here. I'm going to sew through this Super Duo, the other side of the Super Duo. I'm exiting the 8 0 and the Super Duo underneath. And then back up through the other hole of the Super Duo I'm exiting and the one above it. And down through this one. Now I'm going to pick up, whoops, it's the silver. Put one through each green one. Like that. I'm going to stop there. So get that done and then come back and we'll continue. Okay, we're back. So I've taken my, I've just put that thread aside for now. Just leave it, don't sew it in. So I've taken my stop bead off and threaded my needle. So make sure you're exiting this side seed bead right here. I'm going to start putting Super Duos on here. turn around. So through this one. Up these three. So exiting here, so through this one, the green one, and the silver one. Just like we did before. Through this one. Back down this 8 and this Super Duo. back up the other hole of that Super Duo and we're going to put more of the green ones on. Okay, so this is what we have. So I'm going to actually turn it this way. So this is going to be, this one is going to be well, it doesn't really matter, but the, this is going to be the side where the clasp is going to be added on. So I'm not putting any silver Super Duos there. I mean, unless you want to add the clasp between two Super Duos instead of between the, you know, having the um, four here. So, but the way I'm doing it is we're, we're, I'm going in this direction. <laughs> so what you're going to do is you're going to make all your units like this. So here's another unit just to show you how we're going to add it on. So we're going to do a little zipping with our units. So you're just gonna you'll wait for me. We'll do it together because I want you to situate your beads in, in certain ways to to maximize where your thread is coming out. So but this is this is what we're gonna be doing. We're just gonna be adding them um, and zipping them up and it makes for a nice fluid, really um, well weighted bracelet. Alright, so get get your units done. I used six for my bracelet. They're about an inch each. So, you know, just measure and, you know, make sure you have, uh, you know, enough to fit around your wrist. If you're doing, as like I said, if you're doing the mini duos, you're going to make it a little bit longer because you're losing a little bit of length because they're smaller beads. All right. Okay. So go have fun doing that and then come on back and we'll put it together and we'll put on a clasp. All right. See you in a few. Okay. Back just for a second. Um, so when you're making your units, you know, I said make each unit like this, your last unit is, is not going to have any silver on one side. It's not a big deal if you made it with the silver, you're just going to take them off because you're, you know, nothing is really attached right now. So I just wanted to let you know that in case you're saying, oh my gosh, I have silver at the end, unless you actually wanted silver at both ends. So, you know, when we put the units together, it's going to look like this, this is one end, this is going to be the other end. Of course, there'll be other units in between. All right, carry on and um, we'll come back and continue. Okay, we're back. So let's zip up a couple of units. So the way I've situated my units, and I, I just... I'm just trying to maximize the use of all the, th the tail threads we have because we have some picots to put on and we have some bicones to put on. So if we can kind of use the threads we have, that would be great. So that's why I've situated it this way. So here's my end where my class, one end of my clasp is going to go I have a thread here. So I've put 
I put one facing this direction. We're going to connect using this thread where the four green super duos are, not the three section, the four. So that one's up, and then it sort of goes up, down, up, down. You see how the threads are situated. So that way, you know, we could probably use them somewhat to sew in, you know, the rest of our, um, sew on the rest of our embellishments. All right, so here I am. I'm just going to, and I just had one other thought, like what if we make a necklace down the road? just by connecting them in a different place. It's a possibility. All right, so <laughs> here we go. So we're gonna connect these two units. So here I am. I'm coming out of the top um, super duo of this unit. I'm gonna have to turn my thread around. I wanna come out of this bead here. So just like we did before, I'm gonna sew through the other side of the bead. I'm exiting down an 8 and the super duo underneath it. And back up, other side of the super duo I'm exiting, and the one above, and then back down this guy. If you want, you can do all your units that way so they're just ready to zip up or just as you go. Doesn't really matter. Just want to shorten my tail a little bit. There we go. So now we're going to zip, which is so much fun. Let me pull in a teeny bit more. So I'll do this really slowly for those of you who haven't zipped before. So here, exiting here, I'm going to sew through this silver one, and I'm going to leave it open like that. Then we're going to sew through the green one. Like that. Exiting this green one. I'm going to go to the other side and sew through the silver one. Back through this green one. On this side, the next green one. Back to the other side, through the silver one. And then back to this side, through the green one. So you see how I've zigzagged my way through? And then I'm just going to pull and see what that does. It pulls everybody together and zips it up. You can do it straight through if you're used to zipping. If you're not, just, you know, just play with it and do it that way. All right, so I'm just going to leave it there. And if, at this point, you can zip up all your units, and then we'll come back and we'll do some embellishment. All right, see you in a few. Okay, we're back. So here are all my units together, and all my threads are down at the bottom now after sewing everybody on. So I have, if you notice, you have two threads here. So I'm going to thread my needle with this thread. This one I'm going to leave there for now. I'm going to do my pico. So I'm going to pick up three eightos. Exiting here, I'm going to sew right down this line again. So exiting here, sewing through this bead, the silver one underneath it, the green, the silver, the green. I'm going to come out. Let me move these guys out of the way. This is where I'm going to come out. And I'll just put this under there for a second so you can see. Okay, so I'm just going to be going right back up. When I pull, don't worry about the other thread, we're going to use that. It puts my pico on. Yep, you guessed it. I'm going to do the same thing on this other side. Three. Go back down. This is reinforcing your center. I don't know, and everything is even. You know, I like it when, you know, we can do this, you know, repeat the same things over again to make everything kind of even. Especially lately. I don't know why. <laughs> I wonder why. Okay, let me get through all of these guys. So you're just going back down all the beads. They don't go all at once. Go through, you know, one at a time. And now that thread is done for the moment. We're going to use, we'll probably use that one again. All right, so now we're going to, I think you should do it on every unit. So then skip this guy, go to the next area where the pico has to go, put that pico on. Go to the next one, put that pico on. Go to the next one, and so on until you have all Okay, your we're back. So let's continue. So I have all my picos on. Still have using my threads here. So here I'm exiting. So I'm going to pick up my first thread again. I'm exiting the super duo right here. So I'm going to put my bicones on now. So exiting 
this super duo, I'm just going to sew through the other side of that same super duo and the one underneath it. So here, exiting here, I went through the other side of that super duo and the one underneath it. And I'm going to go back up the other side of the super duo. I'm exiting the 80, the super duo. So this one, the 80, the super duo, and the 80 at the top through this guy. Grab a bicone. Exiting here, put your bicone on like that. Then you're just going to sew down through the entire length. So through this super duo, the 80 super duo, and so on all the way down the other side to your exiting that 80 through this 80 put on your other bicone like that yay <laughs> we've got it on and now you just want to come down a couple of beads so a half hitch knot like right here, come down another couple of beads, so another half hitch knot, and then you're just going to take your threads and you're going to do the same thing. So this one's going to go up, put it on here, going to come down, put it through here, and so on. So, well, actually, let me let me do one more, okay, just in case, you know, you don't want to do too much rewinding here. We'll just pop one more on. Let me thread my needle. All right, so I'm exiting the super duo. So right down here, I'm just going to turn around and go through the same, the other side of that same super duo and right other side of this super duo here and the one underneath it. Like that. I'm going to go back up through this one, the other side of the super duo. I'm exiting the 80, the super duo. Like that through these two, like that. I'm going to put on a bicone and sew through these two guys, like that. So you're just doing the same thing, just on the top and the bottom, so you're going up and down and up and down. So exiting the 80 right here, just going to sew through this line, this whole line here, super duo, 80, super duo, 80, and so on. If you can't get them all at once, do a few at a time. Like that. And exit this Edo. Put on my next bicone. And that's going to sew through this line again and putting on some half hitch knots, which I'll do off camera. So then I'm going to have two of my units done. And give it, a, you know, pull it nice and tight. Make sure that the units are, I mean, they might um, bow out a teeny bit, which is actually kind of pretty. And before you sew your, your half hitch knots and make sure that everybody's nice and tight. So just do that all the way down the line. And then come on back, I'll put the clasp on. Okay, we're back, so let's get the clasp on. So I've done one end already. And usually when I use these clasps, this type of clasp, I will just leave it attached so I don't attach the other end incorrectly. <laughs> I know that's crazy, but you know, just ensures I'm going to get it on correctly. So here's on here it is. I have it on here, and I'll just show you how I did it. So I'm just going to attach right here. Okay. So I'm just going to take my needle and thread. So I'm, I decided to put the clasps on separately. I was originally going to use the ends, but I just think it's better to put your clasp on separately. All right, so I'm going. I'm. I've situated my beads in between the rings. See that? So I'm just going to sew through the super duo. 
Then I'm going to pick up an O bead, sew through the ring on the clasp. Like that. Pick up another O bead. It's nice to use these O beads again. Like that. And it just sort of, sort of gives it a little decorative piece right there. Okay, so I so went through the Super Duo. Another O. Through the ring. Another O. Through the Super Duo. Like that. Another O bead. Through the next ring. Another O bead. Through the Super Duo. Now it's on. So you see it just makes a little decorative at the ends. I'm going to sew down through the other side of the Super Duo and of course down the whole line. And then I'm going to reinforce. So just down the whole line of beads like that. Back up through the Super Duo. And then through all the beads again. So the O beads, the ring, the Super Duos. Just going down the line. Just to get that on nice and snug. Don't skip a bead. Like that. Through the O. Through the Super Duo. Just missed that guy. Oops. Let me just get myself looped a little bit. Oops. Okay, let's get me loose. Here we go. better. Okay. And then down here again. And of course you're going to make some half hitch knots. And there you go. Now I made this a little bit smaller. I'm going to try to get it on. I made it a little bit smaller because I want to give it to someone. It's going to be a gifty. So I don't know if it will fit me, but I'll give it a shot. Oh, maybe. Okay, close it up. There you go. It does fit me. Hmm. No, it's still going to be a gift. <laughs> okay. There you go. So here's our bracelet. Here are the different colors. Here's the ring. Earrings are coming up next. Um, I don't know. I'm thinking we might have to do a necklace. So we'll have to see how we can put the units together to make a necklace. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Stay well. Bye-bye.